On Saturday, May 4th, 2019, at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously listened to our fellow Kuan Yin practitioners as they recounted some of their inner experiences and answered their questions. One of the questions was, does the new spiritual land have different levels? Okay,大家都平等的工作的,没什么问题,没什么要隔离,没什么要分别,okay,大家共同一体的,没有感觉什么要隔离,没觉得有上有下,有高有低,没有那种感觉了,那边没有那种感觉,就很自在通融就对了
when the Buddha is in the world, because the physical body is connected with all beings in the physical realms, you are connected together in this physical dimension, one way or another. And then you take food from this world, and you breathe the same air with everyone else, and you drink water from the world, and many other things. Every little thing connected the Buddha with this world. Yes, so he can use that to connect with people and help them to liberate. Because the Buddha doesn't just liberate his own disciples, the official disciples. He liberates all beings on the same planet that he lives, as long as he lives. Jesus said the same, I am the light of the world, as long as I am in the world. No one goes to the Father except through me, that's what he said. When Jesus preached in one area, whether Mount Olive or Mount Sinai, or wherever he preached at that time, the whole world heard, the whole heavens heard, because the souls are not limited or obstructed by anything at all whatsoever. Thus, the Buddha doesn't have to even go in different places in the whole world to preach his doctrine. He even sit in one place, <laughs> and the whole universe heard him at that time. Similar to any saint, any saint at all, any prophet at all, any master at all, they work like that. They work inside with the souls. The Buddha deals directly with the souls of all beings, similar to Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Guru Nanak, Lord Mahavira, Lord Krishna, you name it. All of them, they're preaching to the whole universe. So we thank all these uh, masters from the past and present as well, who bless our world so that it gets better and better all the time. Our most gracious master also shared some important news from her spiritual diary. All beings are or will be uplifted recently because your master is stronger now. <laughs> Before she cannot promise, but now she can. Okay? I need to go also on retreat more to lessen the suffering of the animals and humans. But all will be uplifted except some exception that I will read to you. All beings in this planet, as long as I live, as long as your master lives, she will uplift them all to the new land. But gradually it depends. But at least they liberate it. Mm. They will liberate it in any case. Then they will go to new land, finally. But first have to wait somewhere and cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. The people who finally made it to the new spiritual land of Tim Kutus, they are clean, all clear. So there's no different levels or no different uh, dimension of uh, spiritual consciousness anymore, all the same. And you can be there with Tim Kutu all the time, to your heart content, yes. Master then spoke about those who can be uplifted to the new spiritual land. They are the ones who are virtuous, truly repentant and sincere in their hearts. The ones who cannot get liberation, even from our Master, are the following. Those who are against Master physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, openly or secretly, like cursing the Master, put a, a curse on Master so she not well, etc., like that, or against her disciples, against the Master disciples in some form, in any way, these cannot be liberated. But maybe if they repent at the end of their life, possible. If, it depends on how big is the offense. The next one is those who produce weapons and who go against uh, different governments, making them against each other so that they can sell weapons. 
and make money. Anyone who produces weapons, owns a weapons producing company, cannot be rescued. The workers for the company are less, less responsible, but still very hard to liberate, to rescue. It depends also how their heart is in with that business or not. And the owner of any animal's slaughterhouse, which kill, torture, maim, and harass animals, any owner of any slaughterhouse are not to be rescued, even if they repent afterward. If they change in this lifetime into vegan business or quit the slaughtering altogether and repent, then possible. But if they, to the end of their life, they still continue to own the business and let animals be slaughtered and tortured and hurt in any kind, then they cannot be liberated. Because animals are also God's children in different degree. God made them to help us. That's why in some Bibles say, ask the animals, you know, they help you. Ask the bird, they tell you. Ask the whatever, they will show you. They are here to bless the world also. They are full of light, full of love. You can see many clips we make on SMTV. They're so, just, they're better than humans, better than many humans. They have emotion, they have love, they have intelligence, they have a faithful relationship with each other. They love each other, protect each other, and protect humans also, even the ones who, who harass them. If in time of need, they still come and help that human. Anyone who makes any being suffer deliberately in any way also cannot be rescued. Anyone who are wicked in their heart, inciting wars, or anyone who are kind of dictative leaders who harm their citizens or even opponents in any way, they also cannot be rescued. Master gave further details from her diary about this topic. To know more, be sure to watch Between Master and Disciples at a later date. Most precious Master, we are forever grateful for your boundless mercy and enduring caring efforts for the sake of all souls. Long live our beloved Master in excellent health, peace, always surrounded by unconditional love. We wholeheartedly pray to the mighty heavens to safeguard you on your meditation retreats and that they remain unobstructed and tranquil for the love of all beings on all worlds. For the full broadcast of these lectures by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at later dates. On Sunday, May 12, 2019, our association members from around the globe gathered at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, to celebrate Mother's Day in honor of all mothers in our world. Our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously took precious time from a meditation retreat to attend the occasion. The colorful entertainment program included singing, instrumental and dance performances, as well as uplifting poetry recitals. Beloved mothers, in your embrace, we experience both heaven and earth. 至全天下的慈母，在您的怀抱里，我们同时感受到了天与地。三七波罗蜜之美。
At the end of each performance, Master lovingly gave gifts to all the artists. All joined in with cheerful clapping to Master's song, Go Go Go, at the conclusion of the event. Then, Master delivered a moving speech. Mother's Day is a very joyous occasion for those who still have mother. In Japan, if you still have mother, they have a tradition to come out and give you a, a pink carnation or a pink rose. Normally it's a pink carnation, like the one we have here. And if you don't have mother anymore, they give you a white one. The one who received the pink carnation, like this one, feel very happy and appreciative of their fortune that they still have their best friend in the world. Well, apart from the father as well. The best friend that they know since they were the baby, yes. The first day they say hello to the world, mother is their best friend. And the one who received the white carnation would feel sad and praying and remembering the mother and pray for her wellness in heaven. Yes. And thinking of all the beautiful time that they spent with the mother and thinking of all the sacrifice that she made to bring them up to nurture them, to teach them right from wrong, to protect them from all the unfortunate things that might happen to them in this world. There is no end to what a mother can do, would do, or have done to their children. I would like to wish all of you all the mothers and the father as well, and the future mother, the best day ever, and continue like that every day, if possible. A happy Mother's Day. Also, this day makes me think of other kind of mothers in our planet and in other planets, in other corner of the universes. We have many universes, not just one. Even the shadow universe, we have many, yes. And many mothers, like our mothers, or like you as a mother, don't have the fortune to celebrate a Mother's Day like what we do here because of situation, because of society, because of the ignorance of the world. The animals, they also have mothers and children, family, even the insects, they have them, the fishes, the birds, any living beings have parents. Let's pray that very, very soon all of them can celebrate Mother's Day in peace, safety, and happiness, just like we do today. Let's pray that our world will be awakened soon to realize that Mother's hurt doesn't belong only to the human race, but belong to all beings. So let's Pray that one day all of us, all of the world people and the universal beings realize that as we love our mothers, all other beings also love theirs. And let's hope, let's pray that one day, very soon, all beings will try to protect this sacred motherhood respect sacred motherhood everywhere in all the universes, then we will surely, truly 
be happy in our heart and we will truly celebrate motherhood and truly celebrate and appreciate Mother's Day. Let's pray to all the mothers, whether they are here or in heavens or elsewhere in all the universes. We have peace, we have love, we have protection, we'll have safety and happiness wherever they are in God's mercy. Thank you so much for your prayers and thank you for coming today. After her touching speech, our caring master revealed that she had intended on continuing her more than one month long retreat, however, instead came out to see our fellow Kuan Yin practitioners who had gathered for Mother's Day. Originally, I still want to continue my retreat for the animals, but you came, make so much noise <laughs> to wake me out of my samadhi. So I thought, okay, might as well go say hello, otherwise you won't leave me in peace. <laughs> Such an important day for you. Maybe if I meditate enough, then I can come see you in the evening if you are still here. Okay, huh? Maybe. These few days, a lot of work, inside work. Uh, I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> but uh, if I can, I can see you tonight, huh? Okay? Yeah. All right. Happy Mother's Day. In the evening, Master again saw our association members. With all love and patience, she listened to and answered disciples' questions and spoke about the unwavering faith of Iranian spiritual practitioners. I just feel like Iranian people are the most sincere people. They would never have even one yotta or one nano portion of doubt in their heart. Once they follow a master, they are so sincere, so pure. I feel that way. In many countries, we have also a tradition, also talking about the sound and the living master. But I don't feel the other race of people are so passionate about finding the living master. And ones found are so passionate about practicing, believing, following that master. I am sure other countries' people also have uh, faith and also sincere, but I just feel more passionately from the Iranian people. That's all. I don't mean other people don't have faith, but I just sense something from the Iranian people, so passionate, so strong. A loving master explained once more about her meditation retreat and shared some incredible news. Originally, I want to stay in my cave for continuously for one month and three days. I have announced that. And then you still come, and I don't have the heart to, to not see you. I forgot this Mother's Day and my birthday, I forgot. You will make excuse to come, I forgot. I wish I could do everything at the same time. It's not that you bother me, it's just this world is so limited in many ways. I cannot do everything in one time. I have not completed my retreat yet, and uh, I have uh, succeeded, you know, in uh, going to many different dimensions, I mean, quicker than before. And you have no idea how quick it is, because before, a few weeks ago, I told you I ascend every day about 22 or something new rims. So you have no idea that after that I ascended many hundreds of new rims per day, and then many thousands, and now, wow, more than many thousands. I'm very happy. <laughs> So if you allow me to continue to do retreat, <laughs> then maybe some of your dreams will come true quicker. Hmm? Most gracious Master, we thank you 
everlastingly for your loving, merciful and mighty spiritual efforts in helping save the suffering beings in all worlds. We humbly pray to the magnificent heavens that the remainder of your retreat is serene and that more progress is made towards your benevolent mission. May we too, your disciples, continue to meditate more diligently and turn our attention within to know the will of God. In divine love, may our beloved Master stay in excellent health and enduring heavenly peace. For the full broadcast of Mother's Day performances and the lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, Please tune in to A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms and Between Master and Disciples respectively at later dates. On Saturday, June 15, 2019, after her month-long retreat, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graced our Quan Yin fellow practitioners with her presence at the new land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Our radio master lovingly shared blessed candies with all, then gave an enlightening discourse, firstly mentioning the contract she had signed before coming into this physical world. <laughs> <笑>我见明的时候在上天见明下来以前要见那个荷叶的时候没有说就这样了没有说没有详细解释了懂不懂就说你一定很苦的受得了吗我说可以啊怎么不行让明师同比铁骨哪里受不了我见了眼睛
，喜怒哀乐那些了 ，OK。然后，如果没有喜，没有怒，已经算不错了啊。嗯、呃，有爱的话也是很麻烦，又不是喜怒才给我们麻烦的呀。啊，爱然后绑来绑去，懂不懂？啊，然后又有那个头脑又在那边算很清楚啊，了解吗？啊，下来就已经被绑很多了，规矩很多了啊，应该这样弄，不能这样子做，了解吗？呃，社会不准，呃，社会不接收等等，所以我们这些身体啊，通通脱掉了以后才自由了。反正那个三个身身体都绑我们在那个成住坏空这些这些境界，也没什么好用。真的没有用，就让我们忙而已，然后我们就上不去了。意思堕落在这里，工作做不完，重新要再来。越成功，有时候也是算越失败的，忙我们灵魂在这里，做什么事，等一下也没事了，是吗？<笑>然后太忙嘛，啊，越成功越忙，然后就没有照顾自己的。另外一边呢，最重要那一边，是好可怜啊。Thus, sincerely practicing spiritual meditation like the Quan Yin method with Master guiding us is our only saving grace. 我们越修行越想通了，当然我们还是一样做一些事情啊，跟以前一样哈，看起来一样，不过里面呢很明了哈，很明了，短暂而已。所以还好啦，你们知道了就来共修，不是多打禅，就往那边也是蛮不错啦。啊，我对你们也是很高兴，嗯，高兴。嗯、Master also mentioned the constraints of relationships, and spoke about the path she had taken after separating from her former husband, whom she loved dearly, and the opportunity thereafter to help the world. 不过，如果我没有逃开啊，我今天不会坐在这里啊，也不会有那种机会啊、荣幸啊，可以帮助别人，帮助很多人，最少心理解脱啊。也许身体还不解脱，不过最少里面了悟很多事情啊，那边解脱，那边开放，是吗？开朗。也是不错了啊！我觉得我人生蛮值得的啊。<笑> Master Dan shared information about her recent month-long retreat. 我电视也不看了，很小了。HNTV 也不能看，书书什么也不能看啊。然后我就是要处理一件事情嘛，啊，所以要集中在那边而已，叫别的地方。都放下了，这个闭关跟别的不一样啊，啊，专注在一个目标而已啊。不过也是很多障碍了呵呵，反正是有保护啦，就保护啊。不过我没有办法把那个魔王丢出去，这是他的世界。所以有时候他乱乱讲啊，乱介入我的工作。所以是有一些障碍啦，嗯，嗯，本来就想全部啊百分把它做完，结果现在好像弄到一半了，一半或是三分之二而已啦，没关系，我还继续努力啦，啊。After the lecture, our most loving master walked around the assembly, greeting, delighting, and even serenading our elated association members. I will forever love you through all the worlds, through all the lovers, through all the beauties that you so adore, through all the beauty that you so adore. 
Most gracious Master, we are profoundly touched by and deeply grateful for your boundless love, spiritual blessings, and resolute efforts in saving the suffering beings on Earth and other planets. May Tim Quotu, the loved Lord of all worlds, remain protected by the mighty heavens, always in excellent health and gently caressed in divine serenity. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. On Sunday, June 16, 2019, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously attended a Father's Day celebration arranged by our association members at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Master and audience members were entertained by a lively program which included beautiful singing, colorful dance performances, and heartwarming poetry recitals. A vibrant new cap designed by our beloved Master with Vegans Are Heroes on the front and back was donned by Master and the majority of the gathering. Great Father, ocean of love, and the beloved Lord, loving all worlds, are one. 期盼万物的父亲，恩泽一体，万事太平。당신의삶내내나를지켜주시고사랑해주신아버지미처다말하지못했던감사와사랑을전합니다들뜬자각샹라팀자소이가너가건리Dedicated fathers, who are also long-time diligent Kuan Yin practitioners, were honored on stage and presented with various gifts, including the Vegans Are Heroes caps. 在台上的六位父亲，跟随青海无上师修行观音法门，持素已经三十三年了。他们是纯素英雄的楷模。那小孩子给我最大的感觉就是，他让我们学习到无怨无悔的爱，还有不求回报的爱。这个就是师父对我们的爱。所以小朋友在这个父亲节里面，我们最更能感感动到师父无怨无悔的爱，还有真爱、不求回报的爱、无私的爱。所以在。父亲节的这个当下，最最佳的模范父亲就是师父。The performances continued with a delightful rendition of The Lion Sleeps Tonight, followed by a touching modern dance piece inspired by Sai Sai the Swan's caring devotion to his children, featured in Master's best-selling publication, The Noble Wilds. <laughs>
做的好好好美，也好，好像真的一样。我会记得那个，那个晒晒都把他的毛啊都拔起来，为了要给小孩温暖的那个地方，还有擦的脚不会擦到啊、呃、石头啊、针织那些在路上，然后感动啊，好像我在看那个。那个情况一模一样啊，还还比较更表达的。Thank you so much, excellent. 哇、wow. ，breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. Breathtakingly beautiful. After each performance, Master lovingly gave gifts to all the artists. Towards the end, audience members and performers alike were blessed to see and listen to Master play the mandolin. 我是呃，身体是总在越南出来嘛，我今天送给他们一首越南歌了。OK， 谢谢师傅 ，Thank you, Master. Master was then invited on stage to cut the Father's Day cake and imparted some wise advice about being wholehearted and unconditional in all that we do. Father's Day, happy Father's Day, happy. Ah. I'm a representative of the cake. Thank you to all the fathers and mothers. Okay. Yeah. Because I really saw them taking care of them, taking care of their families, taking care of them. 家庭跟我们人类一模一样，有时候看了好感动啊，就没有 camera 在在旁边，嗯、啊，不过也有看到好多事啊,啊，像刚才我们同修师兄有表演那个晒晒那个天鹅，哇，他表演的好好，好像好像他变成天鹅一样啊，在那那种那种情绪啊，一样啊。啊，天鹅它把它的毛啊都拔起来，铺满地的，他们两个都这样子，铺了，然后为了小孩嘛，温暖，而且走路不会被伤到，我看了好感动啊！我那个 camera 不够表达那些他的感情啊，不过刚才看师兄表演，好感动，好感动啊！为他真的表演，跟他自己本人是那那个晒晒天鹅一样的。这样才是真正的表演。我们写东西不是我们表演什么节目，是应该投入在那个角色里面，才给才能够感人。嗯，我们修行人也是一样啊，还全心全意的在感天感地
，然后才有结果。自己经验了，哈哈，师傅自己的经验也是这样，做什么都不再顾自己了，才能够有最大的结果。如果有顾自己一点点呢，就不一样哦。也许也有一点。有时候想一想啊，也要要，意思说保护自己一点呢、啊，而且想一想。不过那个是头脑想啊，我们马上断掉就没事了。OK， 就是要无我的，因为本来无一无嘛，记得哈。OK， 啊，今天，哎，记得附近的恩惠，记得他的无条件贡献的那。我们也要记得这样子当一个修行人，连一个父亲而已，他照顾几个小孩而已，这么辛苦，那么认真，那么全心，无条件，疼爱贡献的，何况我们这要当一个僧人呢、啊？那还要多么更努力、更无条件的，记得吗？没有任何别的条件，只有无条件而已。OK， 做什么都无条件。就 perfect 了，完美。Thank you 啦 ，Thank you， 所有大家啊，工作人员，谢谢师傅，还有表演者。Thank you, Master. We respectfully offer our utmost gratitude to our most precious Master for her patience, grace, and unequivocal kindness towards all beings. May we humbly realize our innate loving strengths as God's children, for the sake of all cherished life. Heaven's multiple blessings to our beloved Master. We wish her excellent health, longevity, safety, and everlasting divine bliss. For the full broadcast of the Father's Day performances, please tune in to A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms at a later date. Sunday, June 23, 2019, at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai shared some valuable reminders with us, particularly in regards to asceticism and practicing spiritually for true liberation. It's not like any master at all had to be an ascetic. It doesn't have to be that way. But if you can, just simplify your life. Whatever you need. What you don't need, give it away, sell it. If it's not useful anymore, simplify your life whenever you can,、hmm? wherever you can. You can have many things, but it doesn't mean you are mundanely、uh, bound. So important is that you have to remember the inside, not the outside appearance or actions, but. Your inside, your heart, your motivation, okay, your goal. What is it that you want in life? There's only one way to do things. Is the right way. There's only one way, the correct way. And the Kuaning method is the correct way to get enlightenment. I mean, the real one, the ultimate one, and the right one. Buddha said that, huh? Don't think I try to. Convince you, yeah. All the masters say the same thing. If you have time to study all the scriptures here and there, they mention like that. The more we hear this teaching, inner teaching, or our own true nature, the more we understand many things. Yes, the more we will feel free. The more we feel that we are nearer to Buddhahood, or nearer to heaven, or maybe already with heaven. With God, one with God. That's the only way. Master then continued with Lord Mahavira's remarkable story, clarifying why she chose to read it to us. I don't know if anyone in the history of mankind could have done, or could be doing, or will be doing, such a ascetism, such a sacrifice like the Lord Mahavira. Okay. That's why I want to to read it to you. 
After explaining how the great Lord Mahavira, who gave up life as a prince as well as all his possessions and clothes, bowed to be a renunciate in front of thousands of witnesses, Master read the following. After the austere vow, the Mahasraman, I mean the great Swami, the great monk, they call him now, acquired Manapayavchanan, which allow him to perceive the feelings and thoughts of all beings. He has some uh, psychic power now, yeah, just like in knowing the thought of others. His heart was filled with equanimity and compassion. His face beamed with a spontaneous smile. Why does he feel compassion after he has this power? Because he can feel what the humans or all beings around him or in the world feel. You know, their sorrow, their pain, their frustration, their troubles, their helplessness, their suffering. That's why he has compassion for them. Sometimes the masters, they all have all this. Just in time they have to shut it down, otherwise they cannot continue to do their job. The sympathy they have for all beings will, will collapse them mentally, emotionally, psychically, and bodily as well. No one can be able to really function well in this world, no matter how strong spiritually, if that person continues to open this faculty, psychic power, and here in all the suffering of the world. Our gratitude evermore to all the past, present, and future masters, Buddhas, and saints who through their immense sacrifice have come to our physical world to save suffering beings and help them achieve eternal liberation, a task only the spiritually resilient, selfless, and pure-hearted can do. Most precious Master, we humbly thank you for teaching us about the many cherished masters, such as the venerated Lord Mahavira, who have graced our planet. These accounts provide us with more strength and inspiration to improve and be more resolute in our spiritual practice. May our beloved Master remain in excellent health, live long, and be forever protected by the mighty heavens. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. On Tuesday, June 25th, 2019, at the new land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai met with the former Vice President of Taiwan, Formosa, Her Excellency Liu Xiudian, and guests. Her Excellency humbly presented Master with two books and a special tea from Yunnan, China. <laughs> Our remarkable woman and influential orator, Her Excellency Liu, is an advocate for democracy, women's rights, and peace. <laughs> National treasure. Yeah. national treasure. Master, the former vice president plus guests enjoyed a delicious vegan banquet lovingly prepared by our association members and spoke of uplifting matters beginning with China's continued growth regarding veganism. Uh, 
啊，现在大陆也是发达很多那些素食的广播呢、嗯，还跟很多，还有那些很很著名的、很大的素食驻驻产的那些公司建和业。中国现在是好像是苏是领导的，嗯嗯，领导的位置，我很高兴啊。嗯，中国大陆那么多人，全部是猪的话，对世界很有用，大家会跟着。嗯。Her Excellency Liu expressed her great respectful master, who has been diligently working for decades to spiritually awaken the world's people, as well as promoting compassion towards all beings and environmental awareness through plant-based living. You start movement, uh, yeah, forty years ago. Before, 30, 30 before the years, uh, yeah, yeah. UN started, right? Yes, I remember right. that. That's why I'm so admire you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 有上帝保佑才能做嘛。嗯，有机会才能做嘛。如果如果我在那边，嗯，做得好的话，世界也会有影响。嗯嗯,嗯，我不是把世界东西变成有限的。优先是在那边，跟天堂工作，嗯，然后这世界也会会 OK。那个我们古代人都讲过了嘛，修身嘛，起家嘛，治国嘛，领天下，嗯，就记得那一个几句就够了。嗯，他们回去就你们去这边，嗯，是啊，不然会忘记啊，就被。拉拢啊，被社会那个污染啊，嗯、被情况改变了、啊，然后忘记自己的、呃、目标啊、嗯，忘记当初的理理想，很会简单忘记。嗯、外面争夺比较多嘛、嗯，然后如果没有你时，就我不活嘛，然后就简单忘记，嗯、记得那几句就好了。<笑> After the dinner and enlightening Q&A session. Our caring master graciously gave gifts to the former vice president and guests. Her Excellency Liu was deeply moved and kindly thanked master. Very 常感谢师傅今天花那么多时间给我。没事没事，我很荣幸。哎，是给我们很好的一餐，最难得从你的谈话，还有，对，让我们真的很感动。I wish more politicians would learn some wisdom and mercy from the teacher. From Peter, 他们来，我们才能讲几句啊、嗯！我不能去敲门说：“嘿，你知道我是谁吗？”<笑>出来听我讲话，<笑>也不能这样嘛、啊哎！有机会的话，当然我会尽量。Our respectful appreciation, Your Excellency, to Xu Dian and guests, for your lovely presence at the dinner banquet with our beloved master. Also. Our immense gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her precious time and imparting wise words for us to learn from. May the heavens bestow on all ever more blessings and protect you always. For the full broadcast of this dinner meeting with Supreme Master Ching Hai, Her Excellency Liu Xudian and guests, please tune in to Words of Wisdom at a later date. On Sunday, June thirtieth, twenty nineteen, at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly read from the book about the venerated Lord Mahavira and his ultimate devotion to spiritual practice. Continuing on from just after the gentle ascetic's renunciation, Master expounded on the part where a cowherd began physically abusing him while he was in deep meditation, after assuming Lord Mahavira tried to steal his oxen. Without a second thought, he started hitting Mahavira with the rope he carried for tying the oxen. The hard sisal rope left large inflamed welts on Mahavira's naked body. Even this 
excruciating pain did not distract Mahavira from his meditation. See that? He just bore everything because he took a vow of equanimity and compassion. There are some more to come, huh? This is nothing yet. But even then, even the first trial, the second trial, the first trial somebody took away his cloth, so he must be cold in the night, you know, or bearing the rain and the wind, whatever happened. And now it's the second time somebody beat him up for no reason like that, before even asking, before even thinking. And he bore it all with equanimity. I have told you before I read the story that I don't know if anyone in the history of spiritual practice would uh, endure so much and sacrifice so much like Lord Mahavira. What I mean is anyone, any normal one, a mortal one, yeah? Apart from the Buddhas and the saints, our Radiant Master then spoke of past benevolent saints and masters such as Lord Jesus Christ, the worshipped Shakyamuni Buddha, the venerated Milarepa, and other blessed ones who sacrificed and suffered so much to practice spiritually in our world for the sake of helping other beings. She also explained the reason for mentioning them to us. I read them for you so that you can see some examples of uh, past saints. At this time he wasn't a saint yet, yeah, maybe not yet, not complete yet, but he already practiced selflessness, sacrifice, and endurance. Understand? Mm. So if we, in this life, we found life difficult or trying, hardship, then we should remember all these stories at least to comfort us that we are not uh, in the dire situation, not as bad and so much pain and suffering like Lord Mahavira or like Shakyamuni Buddha and like other saints and sages. That's some story I have read to you. This story alone will not bring you enlightenment or promise you any liberation, but as already enlightened practitioners like you are, it will serve as a reminder, okay, so that you are more encouraged, more determined to go on your spiritual path unflinchingly. Interwoven throughout the reading, Master imparted some important information for us and all of humanity, explaining why it is vital for her to continue her inner work through meditation retreats. You can see in our Supreme Master television, uh, animals, they're loving, so loving to, to animals and to, to other species of animals, not even their own species. Every time I see this on SMTV, I loved it so much. And I wanted to go more on retreat to help them. Understand? It motivated me more. Uh, the same as if I see suffering, animal suffering. Animals, they are helpless. And they have been tortured, killed, maimed, mistreated every day in our so-called civilization. This is not civilization, it's barbarous, I'm thinking. I'm not even thinking, I know it is. How can we, strong, intelligent, powerful, be harassing or torturing or taking advantage of small, weak and helpless animals. Even big ones like cows or something, they are very docile, you know, because they know they practice endurance. They have more contact with heaven than many of the humans do. That's why they endure it. They could do something, but they chose not to. Most of the time they choose not to react or to a revenge. But there is one uh, 
this is one of the instant that I remember in the circus somewhere. The mother elephant finally revenge and hurt many humans around just because they. I think they were harassing her baby, her little elephant, to train. You know, they use very harsh and cruel ways to train and to break the elephant, to subdue the elephant into obedience. Understand? Because they scare them so, and they break them down. Very cruel, very cruel practice. I saw that. It hurts and it bleeds and. They whip them or cut them, all kind of things, and I don't know if if I'm living with humans or I'm living with beasts. Sometimes, some people make me think that I'm not living with humans, that I'm not living on earth, that I'm living in hell somewhere. Because even in humans' law, we only punish the bad ones, the criminals. The animals they do nothing. They are no criminals. Why they have been subjected to such kind of, you know, worse than nightmare, worse than imagination kind of treatment, and it's still going on nowadays on our so-called civilized planet. If I don't think about that, then I still can live. If I keep thinking about that, I just don't want to stay here anymore. I don't know if humans, some humans or many humans, are really worthy of any mercy or redemption. If I think about that, <sighs> pardon my anger. I'm doing a lot more retreat nowadays whenever I can. Okay, be it three days, two days, one week, five days, one month. Whatever I can, okay. So if you don't see me sometimes, so please don't try to pull me out by praying this and that. And understand? Just let me do my job also, okay. My job is not only to teach you or entertain you, but my job is inside for other beings, okay. Not just this planet, other planets as well. You help me by meditating and wishing me success in my inner journey, and that's the best you can do. Most precious Master, our earnest and forever gratitude for your patience, fortitude, and ingenuity in finding different ways to teach us and guide us back home. May your meditation retreats be uninterrupted and serene, and may your benevolent mission come to pass very soon. In all God's love. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ting Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.